Welcome to Speed Bump Garage. My name is Kent. It's Jack. Got AJ in the back seat. We are headed to a consignment auction. The auction actually isn't today, but they're having a preview today. So let's head that way. Well, we made it. Looks like AJ's making a beeline for the international wheat truck. There's a lot of stuff here. Most of the auction is online only. So we'll uh, check some of the stuff out today. See this door latch? <laughs> it's got a true Oklahoma door latch on it right there. So cool truck though, a little international. Hey. I don't think Two we need this. A160 series. Let's keep looking. I don't think I want that wheat truck. Um, I don't know what this big trailer is. Oh, it's a big horse trailer, I guess. Kind of looks like a circus trailer. Looks like one. Red and blue are the circus colors, right, Dad? I, I guess so, yeah. Dang, that is a big horse trailer. Yeah, so they got all these pins in here. And then here, you got fans, lights. What's this? Oh, it's spots. There's a security camera up here. I don't think that's a security camera. Right. I think that's a camera so you can see in your trailer while you're going down the road. Yeah. There's a huge tire in here. Spare tire. And... All right, AJ, come on. I don't. We don't even have anything to pull this big old trailer. Yeah, it's, you have to have a truck with Ooh. a hook inside of it. Yeah, you got to have a big truck for that. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see what else. I see a bump side pickup bed trailer. We need that bed. Yeah. Let's check the floor out in it. I'm... Hey. Seats are pretty hot. I could use these rallies. We got caps and centers on all of them. Yeah. If we need this bed, we'll Lot 109, I may bid on those. Bump yeah. side bed. This, this floor is good, Dad. Got a little bit That's of room. That's the wrong kind. And then this is kind of messed up. It's not that good. Your bed. I wish it was the lighter yellow like our 69. This one's pretty squeaky, Dad. We'll have to see. It's got good trim on this side. I bet it doesn't on the other Dad. side. Always. Sell, but it, Dad, what? This thing isn't for sale, but if it was, we need it. <laughs> the windmill? Yeah. So, I, I've noticed on most of these old trucks, especially these farm trucks around here, they're all missing their passenger side molding. And all I can think of is just because you can't see as well on your passenger side, and farmers tend to hit more stuff on that side because look over here. Driver's side is good. We got a fridge truck. They call these this era of Ford pickups the fridge. That actually looks like a short bed. The bed floor is pretty beat up. On to the next thing. They are for sale. Don't find it over here, Dad. Yeah, you'd have to bid on them. What? That's some big monster truck tires over there. Yeah, we don't need those. Because we don't have monster truck. A whistle and diesel wood. Whistling Diesel needs those. What else we got here? I know somebody's gonna comment on this video and see something they wished I'd have looked at. Check out this heater. What is it? I think it's a kerosene heater. I mean, I could have used so this auction company is called Smith & Co Auction. He does two of these big consignment auctions a oh, year. He does a springtime one, tractor, and a fall one. This is the spring auction, obviously. Boy, he, he does an excellent job. It's hard to get a good deal here sometimes because he does such a good job advertising and everybody knows it's going on. So you're usually gonna pay retail on stuff at these auctions. Every once in a while you can sneak a deal in there. What is it? I think it's, I think you drag it behind your tractor and your square bells go 
up here and then you'll have a wheat truck or something beside it and it shoots off that way. Oh, it's like a loader? Yeah. Huh. I've never seen such a thing. I think so. The buses are straight over here, Dad. The boys are wanting me to buy a bus. Yes. Have you guys ever ridden on this bus? Uh, not this bus, bus five? Uh, not this one, but the next one I have. Oh. I probably have ridden on this one. For field trips and stuff. Come on, AJ. Let's check out bus five. This is a Bluebird bus Chevy. Alright, let's go on this one first. Yeah, the door's open. It's not a super long bus. Well, it's enough for our family. Whoa! Dad. Dang, that's a window breaker in case you end up in some water. Uh-huh. That's huh. helpful. Uh, yeah, we can't buy this one. The back door's broken. Well, the seats are in decent shape. All these turd kids didn't tear them up too bad. This one shows 102,000 miles. That's not that many. I don't know what all these switches do. Yeah. I know what some do. It's an automatic. Hmm. Let's look at the bigger one. Okay. Ooh, longhorn skulls. Get one of those for the... Um, if we buy a bus, we gotta get one of those to put on the front. Dad. I bet those are gonna go high. What, buddy? Look. Oh, hang on, we better close this one back up. So this is the bus you guys used to ride to school on? Yep. Yep. Uh, this one's a little bit longer. Did you guys tear any of the seats up? No. I don't think this one has any seats. Right. Yeah, no seats. Let us know in the comments if you think we need a bus. These two boys have actually ridden to school on this bus before. So that would be neat if I was going to have one to have this one. Let's see how many miles it's got on it. Oh, uh, this one's got a digital speedometer, so we can't tell how many miles it's got on it. I'm assuming this one's newer. There's doors right here. We still got the stop sign on it. Oh, that's handy. Dang, AJ, we got mud tires on the back of this one. Yay. This is for them rural kids like you. Oh yeah, you wanna see what's in there? Yeah. This is bus eight. Is that the, that's the bus she used to ride? Not Miss Bronx's old bus. She's oh, that's her batteries. We got good batteries. Connections look decent. Close yeah, so up. we uh oh, bus will have to charge those every once in a while. Yeah, this is a fire door. Fire door? Yep. Dad, I didn't know if you didn't notice. Let's go look in the bus again. I want to show you something. Look in the bus. Look in the bus. For big kids, they can get out the roof. Oh, big kids can get out the roof? Huh? Emergency exit. I hope we don't have to use that one. Yeah, guess what? What? There's also emergency exit windows. Okay. What is this? Let's move on. It's hot in here. I shouldn't yeah. wear this hoodie. All right, next bus. There's three buses here. This one's got a Chevy logo on the front of it, too. Oh, this one's really short. It's got some busted out windows. Also got the mud tires on it. Oh man, this one was busted out, too. This one's got a lot of broken glass. Be careful in there. I don't want to be in here. I kind of like this, how short this one is. It'd be easier to get around in. Double lights. All right, let's move on. Too much glassy. <laughs> bus driver Jack. <laughs> that concludes the bus portion of our video. I just thought about this video is going to be real boring if we don't buy anything. Yeah. <laughs> That's a little bit of pressure for me to make a purchase. Square body wheat truck. Yeah. I wonder what it's got in it. Oh, there's two. I want to see what it got in it. There's a ladder. C60. The big boy. Dang. Look how it. nice it is. There's a ladder. Oh, yeah. We need that bench seat. We need this whole cab. There's a ladder. How's it looking there? Oh, it's nice in here. 
for some weight in there still, but it looks pretty nice. I don't know if the hood opens. I don't know which direction it opens. Here. I'm the cameraman. Cameraman AJ. Ooh, it opens this way. We got a little small block. Looks like it looks like it's got a good wrench. 350 in it. It's kind of hoping for a big block, honestly, but looks like it has had the engine replaced. There's still some factory stickers on it. This probably wouldn't be a bad one to pick up. I don't know. It might go high because how nice it is. Jack's looking at this pontoon. I don't think we need this. Not as cool as I thought it would be, Dad. It's missing a few things up there, it looks like. Yeah, it's missing the seat. I'll take it. Man, AJ, look at that van. Oh. We gotta go look at that van. I can't get down. Here, I got you. <laughs> Thank you. Can we get inside of this? Yeah, I, I'm not sure how this works. I don't know if this is a camper. It is. Come to this side, buddy. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, it's even got a crapper in it. You can look back at the people tailgating you while you use the toilet. Hey, guys. Bunkets. This is the unit. Up here, here, look at it. I want to see that. No. Dad, literally, there's a bed up here. They, yeah. They have bunk beds. What? <laughs> we need this. I want it. Get off that couch. I want it. Well, it's looking like the camper van does run, but maybe needs an alternator. Just had a new fuel pump installed. I do dig this thing. It'd be fun just to buy it, take a road trip, then maybe sell it. Does it have a shower? It does have a shower. We don't need seat belts for where we're going in this thing. <laughs> I think you probably do. We'll have to look at the possibility of adding seat belts. I'm gonna add the Falcon to the watch list. Yeah. You want a road trip in that? Yeah, and I'll go camping. This is a slick OBS Ford. Yeah, this is an old double tire. Yeah, no one can get in this thing. Stand up and move. AJ, I don't need this big old tractor. Stand up and move. Look, that's an AJ size tire. Ow, no it's not. I have to bend my neck. We don't need that big old tractor. I probably should add this OBS Ford to the list. These trucks are getting pretty popular. Actually, we just drove here in one. Activator! <laughs> I guarantee you this is out of our price range. I want to still look in it. All right, be careful. Huh? I can't get up. Here, I'll put you up there. I got it. I figured it out. It, it's not on, but I figured it out how to control the buckets. Yeah. The good thing it's not on, you'd be throwing Bub off there. It's pretty nice next to me. Yeah, oh, cool. Oh, let's stay down from there. Let's quit looking at this. We know we're not going to be able to afford it. Let's have a look at this motorhome. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. I like the idea of having a big motorhome when you use it. They sure would be a pain in the butt when you aren't using them because they're huge. Master bedroom. So where do the kids sleep if we bring kids? On the couch? No spot for children in this. This is a retirement motor home. This fifth wheel is giant. Okay, it's three looking. axle. I wanna look in this one first. Is this a toy hauler? Oh dang. I don't know if my ram would pull this big sucker. We got plenty of room. Dang. We could fit a whole car in here. I'll let I'll sleep right here. Here we've had some had some major leakage back there. Oh. Dang it. This would have to be real cheap. Oh, uh, the whole outside of it's coming apart. Uh-huh. Ooh, that's not good. What about this motor, huh? 
I want it. Okie tumbleweeds. I wonder what that is. Ooh, I like this one. It's fiberglass sided. It looks really nice. Yeah. Most of these motorhomes aren't made for children. Okay, we got some box TV up front. We got a bed right here, because that's the same one. Fold down bed. Maybe one of y'all can bed. sleep there. And then I'll just... Oh, nice! Dad, nice, bro! I can just sit right here, chilling. <laughs> With the seat belt on and everything. Oh, we do have a seat belt. So we got three seat belts. We need one more. Does this have a seat belt anywhere? No, this is a fold out bed, so it comes all the way out. We're just gonna have to ratchet strap you to the couch. Television up front. There's that 30,415. Yeah. Probably Dude, this RV is so cool. Tele it's got an hour meter too. And television up front. Television up front. All right, it's hot in here. Yeah, I'm getting sweaty. Clock needs batteries. Palm Breeze Gulfstream. This is the unit. Hang on, bud. Storage compartment. It's huge. Golly. If we, if we bought this, take all the stuff out, put our coolers in there. That's a good idea. So seriously, guys, I do really like this one. I have no idea what it'll bring. I don't even know what it's worth, but I will add that to the watch list. Like I said, it's going to be a real boring video if we don't buy something. Mom would probably be pretty happy if I got her a big motor home. mechanics next year. I'm a dark separator! You got, uh, you got some money if you want to try to bid on it. So this is a farm all. I don't know much about tractors, but this is uh, looks like a pretty simple one. What is it? I don't know. I saw this on YouTube though. It cuts trees and it grabs it and then you can oh, get Oh, that's like a them. forestry machine. Yep. Okay. Oh, I see. It cuts them down here and it grabs a hold of them. And then, and then what do you do with it? Um, you bring it and then it gets chopped up and then you have firewood. I'm telling you, AJ, that's a big unit. Stand by that tire. Bigger than me. I really don't think we need it. Well, true. And I haven't found the price yet. Well, it's an auction, so you just got to bid on it. What is this? Look at the Daytona Ram 1500. It's got Jeez. all the downforce. I've never seen anything like this. It's got, it's got a little whammy on the bumper there. I bet this was probably an expensive truck in its day. Special edition Daytona. Dang, look at the interior. Of course, you know it's got the Hemi V8. It's got Daytona badges inside. Daytona number 10,459. It's got a Daytona badge on the door over there. Got I really thought this would have like the Viper V10 in it, but Dad, just got the old Magnum V8. Look what I got on me from the door. Oh, uh, wipe it on your jeans. We got a super clean OBS Chevy extended cab. Kind of a grandpa truck. Got the topper on it. Really clean though. I don't Daddy, see any dents in it. I think they're made of carrying boards. Huh. Dada, I need to look and I can't get it. Crawl up there, buddy. Whoa. So last tagged in 2019, looks like. Probably been sitting a while. Really clean inside. Uh, showing 208,000 miles. Not a bad truck. Let's see what we're working with under the hood. Uh, it's got a 350 in it. 5.7 V8. Vortex flavor. Look at that OBS Ford over there. Everybody's gonna be wanting to buy it. It's mine. I drove it here. Pretty blessed to have it. 88 F-150 XLT Lariat. Now the boys are here and this is what we came to see. It is a Volkswagen powered sand rail. 
and I need to look it over. I've always wanted one of these things, as you guys know that have been around the channel for a while. I've got a few Volkswagens, and this is a Volkswagen air-cooled powered doom buggy. Let's check it out. Just for the viewers out there, we're selling the black Volkswagen. Yeah, we're going to sell it. Yeah. So, this I don't gas? know much about these. Yeah. We've Plus. got the Volkswagen Beam front end, so that's a torsion front end. Dad, we need this thing. I want to take... Maybe that's a Volkswagen steering box. Dad, got if an... we got bought this thing, I want to take it to sand dunes. Yeah, for sure. Got a nice pedal setup. Got a hydraulic brakes and clutch. We don't like this. Nice shifter. Got turning brakes. Is that... Yeah, what do you turning mean? brakes right there. Oh. Not a fan of the uh, bimini top there. Can we turn it upside down? No. We'll have to, have to get a new one of those. Dad, can Sorry you? Sorry to all you Oklahoma State fans out there. Thanks this looks like factory Volkswagen torsion stuff too. I think that is a three rib transmission. I, I don't know much about that, but that's what I always see the Volkswagen guys put on these dune buggies. They always call it a three rib. Got the dual port Volkswagen, probably a 1600, I would say. I can't, there we go. Did we drive this around the house too? Yep, it's got some good oil in it. Yeah, with these tires on it, it should. I think we got disc brakes on the back. Here, I got the camera, AJ. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me try it on. It's tight in there just for me. Oh, you can take the steering wheel off. Oh, you can? Okay. Oh, yeah. Dad, with this thing, we wouldn't even have to buy a flag. You know why? Flag. We would have to buy one. We have to buy a flag. I'm not running that one. OSU flag. There we go. Hey. Yeah, it is an OSU flag. We could get an OU flag, though. Yep. Boy, this isn't made oh. for a very wide person. My old hips got this baby filled out. Turn brakes feel a little light. I don't think they're, I don't think they're rigged up. You think this thing will go high? I think it'll go high. It's really nice, but we're gonna put some bids on it for sure. I think that's it outside. We are gonna take a look at the lawnmowers real quick. Probably won't video that because Jack's kind of into lawnmowers right now, and we'll head inside. There's a couple welders I want to look at inside, so let's head that way. I thought we were going inside. AJ's four wheeler shopping. This is what we need. Yeah, four wheelers usually go high at this auction, but I'll show you these four. If one of them happened to go cheap, I'd probably try to pick it up. I don't yeah. necessarily need a snow plow. If this one goes cheap, we need this one because I can just chill in the back. Yeah, I don't think that one's going cheap. It's a big old 550 Grizzly. This stuff is. We got a Model A van. There's a ton of seats for that. Man, this is nice, AJ. YouTube would love to see me cut this up and put a small block Chevy in it. Yeah. <laughs> Man. So this is like a 29. You can tell the uh, 30s don't have that flat bottom on their grills. Yeah, this would be a 28, 29. I remember we know someone who has one of these. Do we have one of these? Yes, do we. This is funny. I just watched Puddin and Mortsky work on one of these yesterday. I didn't get to finish the video, but this distributor is really unique. I had no idea how it worked until Mortsky explained it. This thing is nice, guys. I bet it goes high. These things have bad rust problems here. I can't tell if that's been repaired or not. Looks like it's got a few bubbles showing up on the bottom of the door. Kind of a driver quality restoration. Then we got the truck. Look at this truck, AJ. What? I don't know what this thing is. <laughs> it's international. We yeah, it's a one seater. Fit two people in there. In me. I see oh, it's got a, at least a 12 volt coil on it. it must have been converted, yeah, because it's got an alternator on it. Yeah, come here. Yeah, this is like the car at Kitty Farms taking us to the yeah. place. Okay, we can get pay rides. Okay, got a hand crank starter. Well, look at that, it's only got 60 miles on it. 
I had no idea these were here. Might be worth watching at least. What do you think this is worth? And what do you think that's worth? I appreciate for what it is, but I'd love to make a hot rod out of it. I think that's worth 30,000. 30,000? You might be right. What do you think this one's worth? 40,000. 40? I could be right. I hope you're right. Nice cars are yeah. expensive. I want to go look at the office gym back here. Whole box of belt sanders and jigsaws. Alright, we're going to make it through this whole pile of stuff. I'll kick the camera back on if we find something cool. There's a lot of smalls. I'm going to shut the camera off so we don't miss any hidden treasures. Definitely cut you back in though. That might be the last break. Yeah, I'm definitely interested in this Westcraft. Little wood lathe that Jack's interested in. You see all the different speeds? How you change the speeds? Oh yeah, you just change the gear ratio on Yeah, and then you can move oh, this you up to move the belt. This, oh, cool. Oh, yeah, we'll have to remember that. Slot 41. Yeah. All right, we were just fixing to head out of here for the day. This is just the preview day, and he gave me permission to try and fire the dune buggy up. I think that's neutral. We've got four switches. So that's, that's ignition on and start. I don't know what the other three do. Anybody else here is not good at runs. Hey, this thing's cool. Uh, we're cool. definitely going to be putting some bids in on it. Yeah. It's officially auction day. The live auction's happening right now. I'm in the middle of redoing some flower beds in front of my house, but I'm going to be running in and out and watching the live broadcast of the auction on the computer. So when our lots come up that I'm interested in, I'll run inside. I'll film bidding on them online. And if we get done with the flower bed in time, I might go up there and bid on some in person. Wish me luck. Busy day of bidding and flower bed repairs. We're bidding on the 98 Chevy pickup. I've just got out bid. I've got it at. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. Looks like a lot of people want it. 2700. I'll be right back. It's at 3000. I'm going to hit it at three. Out bid. <laughs> I got bid. 3300. I'm gonna go for it. I think I think that truck's probably worth at least five. I'm gonna go one more time. Thirty-seven hundred. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody wants it way worse. I'm gonna make them pay for one more. Forty-one hundred. Gosh. I'm gonna hit him again. Forty-three hundred. I've got it at 4500 Yeah! I got it! $4,500! <laughs> so that's about a thousand more than I wanted to spend on that. <laughs> that's what you call auction fever. <laughs> Alright, we bought one thing. I don't know if we got any money left for the dune buggy. Yeah. We're gonna go up and bid on the dune buggy in person. Yeah. You guys excited for that? Yeah. We'll go do a little live bidding. Dune buggy, it's gonna sell. Here we go. Tell me what you're gonna get for it. Fifty one hundred, somebody in here bought it. Well, we missed out on the buggy. You wanna go check out our truck? Uh -huh. And next time if there's another new buggy, we'll try to get it. Alright, here it is. We got the keys. I actually haven't even heard it run. Here Jack, hop in there and see if it'll start. <laughs> Fired right up. Pop the hood on it, buddy. 
Looks like we got a new battery. AC compressor's even running. We got cold AC, Jack? Yep. Hot dog. This yep. is a unit. We got the reclining chair, too. Oh. We don't, we don't, Dad, we don't have Looks a Looks like the bolt came out of it. I think we can fix that. What, buddy? It doesn't have back seats. It yeah, does have a back seat. Got a vent right here. Oh. It's got a crotch vent. Oh, yeah. We got the third door. Look, AJ. Oh, yeah. This is nicer than the truck we drove here in. Let's try to drive this baby home. So we missed out. Stop looking at it. Ugh. We should have bought it. Good, are you? busy flying this kite with AJ and I just bit on one of the buses I've got it the bus that the boys actually used to ride I've got the bit on it at 11:25. no idea I almost kind of hope I get out bid on it but uh we're flying a kite making auction bids right now I'll let you guys know if I get it bought uh. <laughs> well, <laughs> I have kind of bad news I just bought the bus. <laughs> you know, we didn't even look at the engine on that bus. We didn't hear it run. This was possibly a really bad decision. I almost crashed my kite, but that one bid is all I put in on it. Honestly, did not think that thing would sell for $11.25. That is way cheap. Yeah. Do you need a license to drive a bus? Do I have to have oh. a CDL to drive a bus home? Only with kids inside. All right. Well. I guess I better reel this kite in. Why am I flying the kite? There, show you guys some kite flying. Good day for flying a kite. AJ's going right inside the snowball. And buying school buses apparently. Well, the auction today, the final day of the auction is finally wrapping up. We obviously know that I bought a bus and I don't know what else we'll see. This video is running a little bit long, so I'm going to leave you guys hanging there. We will go get the bus in our next episode and you can see what all we, else we bought. But I'll leave you guys with this little tip. If you're going to do something dumb, like buy a bus and a truck you don't need at an auction, give your wife a beautiful flower bed. Wow, that's all happening. I did all this during the auction yesterday. My wife actually helped too, so I can't take all the credit. Spent a full day on the flower bed. I think that's going to ease the pain of me saying, hey honey, I bought a school bus. <laughs> Don't know what I'm doing with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. We'll see you on the next episode where we're going to go get a bus. Yeah. See you guys next time.